What's pen spinning? Well, basically, you spin pens. Yeah. So you're curious about learning how to do this? And I assume you don't know your first trick yet, seeing as you clicked on this video? If so, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to learn your very first trick, and I'm even going to show you how to progress through pen spinning after that. Now there are four main tricks most people learn when starting to learn pen spinning. These are known as the fundamentals, because they're required knowledge for almost every other trick. These four tricks are the thumb round, charge, finger pass, and sonic. You can learn whichever one you want first, other than the sonic. You should know how to do the charge at least somewhat well before learning the sonic. For all the tricks, you're going to need a pen or pen-shaped object, preferably as balanced as possible. Also, longer and heavier tend to be better. Once you have your pen, we'll start with the finger pass, which looks like this. Let's watch it again in slow motion. The secret to being good at pen spinning at a later level is being able to copy any trick you see. And the earlier you start with your copying, the better. I understand this is a tutorial, but relying heavily on verbal aid and instructions will limit you in the future more than you know it. So try your best to copy what I do. Now let's look at the charge, which looks like this. You can learn it either this way, or this way. And don't worry, it'll look like a triangle for a while, but over time should become more like a circle. Once you can do one, try doing two in a row without stopping. It just takes practice, so don't worry if you can't do it now. Next we'll look at the thumb round, which looks like this. The important part about this is that most of the pen should be facing outward. Then it's just a matter of getting used to the swing of the pen and using enough force to get around the thumb and not too much to fly away. Finally, we'll look at the sonic, which looks like this. This is probably the hardest of the fundamentals for most people because it has a complex finger slot in the middle when it's in between your index and ring fingers, and it passes behind the middle finger. It's kind of like making this motion while performing a charge starting between your middle and ring fingers and ending between your index and middle fingers. Doing this type of motion can help. Those were the four fundamentals. Now let's look at some more tricks that you can learn without knowing anything else. The first of these is called infinity. Before I say anything else, just try and copy it. The switch between your thumb and index to your index and middle fingers are probably the second hardest part, followed by the wiper between your index and middle fingers. Wiper being the name of this trick. Then you can switch back to the starting position and do it all over again. The next trick is called the Neosonic, which looks like this. This one is pretty self-explanatory if you try and copy it. The tricky part might be when it's on your index finger. The next trick is known as the Twisted Sonic, which looks like this. Try and copy exactly what I do. Next we can do the Shadow. By the way, I'm not making these names up. They were named many years ago and are widely adapted as the names for the tricks. The shadow is probably the hardest on this list because it's most people's first topspin trick where it spins on top of the hand. You can make this motion to get the hang of it. Or if you know how to do the sonic, try and do that as a starting but move your index finger down and don't let it transition to that slot. Next are the finger arounds. Here is an index around. Here's a middle round 0.5, and here's a ring around 0.5. Next, let's look at the back round, which looks like this. You can catch it here to start, but it's better to catch it here for linking with other tricks. Learning the reverses to the fundamentals are also very important. Here is the finger pass reverse. Here is the charge reverse. This is the thumb on reverse. This is the sonic reverse. Neosonic reverse. Shadow reverse. Finger around reverse. 
back around reverse. Once you've learned some basic tricks, try linking them together, making a smooth transition between them. You can pick almost any trick and follow it with another. For example, you could start with a sonic here and do a twisted sonic after. I don't recommend learning a change in direction for your very first linkage of two tricks. But once you get the hang of things, learning counters is great. Once you have enough tricks and short linkages made, you can start combining these small links with others and make linkages and then combos if you make the sequence long enough. Playing a game called Tacons is a great way to develop your skills. This is where you add a trick and record yourself. Then they record them doing your trick and theirs. You continue this however long you can until a spinner can no longer add any more tricks. Where do you play these games? Well, the most common place as of now is the Discord servers. Many Discord servers have dedicated channels for Tacons. You can check out some of the Discord servers in the description and play Tacons there. If you think I missed anything, let me know, and if you want me to cover any more topics in the future, let me know with a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.